Saxa Wayman, Peru is home to the world's largest and longest megalithic polygonal walls, through which there are 15 ancient entranceways, but only six still have their thresholds and none have their original lintels. The complete absence of the lintels at Saxa Wayman is commonly attributed to the fact that huge, straight, long stones are very useful for other projects like churches and bridges. It's also believed that the capstones or lintels were just plain and simple, like at Machu Picchu and Ollante Tambo, Pizac, and Tambo Machai. But I have also considered that maybe the lintels were decorative on the outward face, carved and sculpted, yet nobody has ever seen a sculpted lintel. Not a single large, long lintel with a decorative side has been repurposed anywhere. But whether they were plain or sculpted, all 15 large lintels are missing. 15. Nobody seems to know where they are. Then I was shown this out-of-place block of limestone, sitting precariously on a cemented stone pedestal. This sculpted beauty is about 300 feet behind the church of San Cristobal, which is just down the hill from Saxa Wayman. This stone could have been actually rolled down to here. It looks like it might have been rolled down to here. Yet, on its side there are still subtle cut marks, and its decorative front has been smashed. Is this the center chunk of a former lintel? And if yes, then why was it cut into thirds and hammered? Well, I think I know why. In one of my other videos, I talk about how none of the ancient entranceways throughout Peru ever had doors. And this is very true for all 15 entranceways at Saxa Wayman. Clearly, no hinges, no doors. But if there weren't any doors, then how did they keep the unwanted visitors out? Well, that's simple. Fear. The lintels must have been a frightful sight. When I flip this stone over in my mind and place it back over its entranceway and put the missing elbows and feet back on, I see a full-sized man with his head locked into a stone pillory. Don't you? Shiny and reflective in the daylight and in the moonlight, I sure as hell wouldn't go in there. Door or no door. No thank you. I don't doubt that during its heyday, Saxa Wayman was an absolutely terrifying place to all whom didn't actually live within those incredible walls. And with legend and fear so deep that decades later, and perhaps hundreds of years later, the next civilization would have had to hack down the lintels as if they were cursed and still all-seeing and still dangerous. So I'm going to go with that theory. These entranceways during their day were downright terrifying. And I think I found one. Now where are the other 14? If you know where another one is, please let me know. Thanks. Always keep an open mind. <laughs>